it's Katie. I'm back. I wanted to do a cut crease today and purple's my favorite color. So today's purple day. Yay. All right. If you're interested, keep watching. Okay. So I started off with my Urban Decay primer. I still haven't picked up a dupe for this, but I will, but I'm, I don't know. I don't want this tube to go to waste either. So I figured I'd use it and then I'd find a dupe. Um, and then I just have tape on. So I'm just going to take this. I used this in my last video. What is this? This is the Purple Blaze by NYX. And a liner brush. And this is just a Sonia Kashuk liner brush. So you can find them at Target. And I'm just going to put that a little bit above my crease because I actually have I don't have hooded eyes but I have like the in-between hooded eyes and open eyes and yeah it's weird so it's got to go a little bit above and you just want to kind of follow your bone structure and we're going to be blending this in so you don't need to have, it doesn't have to be pretty. And it might take a few times. Back and forth to get the f perfect guideline. Okay. So like that. Okay. So now I got a new palette. Put the cap on that, sorry. Um, this is NYX. Be our guest, Maurice. It's cute. And I love how all the NYX products have bows. Just saying. So, we're going to take... It's like a silver purple. Right there in that corner. And I'm just going to use... This is another Sonia Kashuk brush. It's just like a small blending brush it's very very small but it's not quite an eyeliner brush it's that nice in between and I'm just gonna put that in the corner and blend out the corner here and this is gonna be a little bit of going back and forth between colors I love this palette because it has every purple I want to use so I don't have to go to different palettes for it. So the next color we're going to be using is the center one right there. And that's going to be the main color we're going to be using today. And you're just going to blend. So your crease is starting to take shape. Alright, and now the last color we're going to be using is this deep purple in the, uh, I don't know, whichever corner. It's the opposite corner from the silver lilac, but this deep purple right here. And this one, you just want to put in the very bottom of your crease and kind of blend into the other colors. Keeping it nice and simple. And just to give it some depth. Okay. So there it is. Alright. So now I'm going to just take a flat shader brush. Again, Sonia Kashuk. And I'm going to take the natural palette from next. And I'm going to use this light brown shade right here. That's the third one. And from the end, and you're just going to pat that on your lid. Megan is so clean when she does her makeup, and I tend to be sloppy and then clean up. I don't know if it creates more work for me or not. It's just the way I do it. I'm just an organized person. And I'm not. Is that why we work well together? Do we, Katie? <laughs> we don't? Of course we do. You brat. I love you. Oh, 
that's payback for your video, isn't it? Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with that deep purple. One more time. And just very lightly blend it together. And then I'm gonna wipe my brush off on my pants because I don't have a towel. And that's why I wear yoga pants when I do my makeup. And I'm gonna take the silver right here, the silver lilac shade, and I'm just gonna bring that up and blend it. All right, and there's our cut crease. We're finished. Now we're gonna take, I picked up another pigment. This is Nude by NYX. We're gonna pop that on our brush. That is the first time I've said pop this entire video, just saying. Was it Helen that said you said it too much? Yes. <laughs> I've been watching myself very closely. Okay, so we're gonna put that on our brush. And this is just another blending brush. Again, there's different sizes, so this is a little bit bigger from the other one. And again, another Sonia Kashuk brush. And I'm gonna put that in the corner of my eye and kind of blend it up a little bit onto the lid, like that. And then I'm gonna put a little bit underneath my brow bone, or on my brow bone, underneath my eyebrow. And then again, we're gonna take the brush I was using with all the purple and just blend it. And there it is. Okay, so now eyeliner. This is Sephora, it's waterproof eyeliner. And I'm gonna put that on the top lid. I always feel weird doing this and now doing it on camera is super creepy. I don't know. And then I'm going to take, this is my Stella waterproof. Again, I'll find a dupe for a waterproof eyeliner that I like, but I'm going to use this up until it's gone. And I managed to do that without my mouth hanging open. Yay! Okay. I'm going to let that dry for two seconds and then I'm going to remove the tape. So you're probably going to notice that the one <laughs> eye is thicker than the other. I'm going to put my lashes on and then I always reapply. This just kind of gives me a guideline for my lashes and for when I reapply. Okay. It didn't bleed. Yay, we're learning. Hey, I get excited. It's the little <laughs> things in life. Okay, so now we're going to work on the bottom of the eye. Okay, so we're going to go back to that NYX purple blaze. And we're going to put this all the way to the corner. and blend it in with the purple up there where your crease stopped. Okay, and then I'm gonna go through with the center shape. Like that. Okay, and then I'm gonna take what is the name of this? That lilac. It's lilac pearl I used in my last video. I'm going to take the lilac pearl from NYX pigment. And I'm going to take that blending brush, the medium one. And I'm going to blend out the lines underneath my eyes from the purple and just give it a little shimmer along the edges. Run that right out. And I'm gonna go back in again with the smaller blending brush and the deep purple. And I'm just gonna put that just along the edge of my lashes.
like that. Okay. And now I'm just going to go back with the waterproof eyeliner from Sephora and put it on my waterline. So the eyes are basically done. So I'm going to take a little bit of concealer. This is the e.l.f. under eye concealer with the highlighter. And I'm just going to put that right underneath and clean up and let it sit just for a second. Just so it gets a little bit tacky. And then I'm going to take the highlighter portion, put that right underneath my eye. I really love this. I have um, dark circles some days and this just brightens me right up. Okay, and now I'm going to take some of the e.l.f. 8. Where did I put it? Aha! The e.l.f. HD setting powder. Megan's laughing at me. What? I was proud I found it. Didn't you say that you were <laughs> or unorganized I am in this video? I am perfectly organized. It was right here. I just <laughs> didn't see it. Okay. So now I'm going to go off camera, put on my lashes, and then I'll see you when I get back. Okay, so I applied my lashes. Now I'm just going to thicken up my eyeliner and blend my lashes in. I'm just going to apply a little bit of mascara. Alright, now my best friend asked me how I do my lips. So, here we go. I'm wearing my Too Faced Melted and violet and I'm going to take my purple eyeliner and I'm just going to go and line my lips. Normally with Too Faced you don't usually need liner but I wanted to deepen up the lipstick a little bit and get rid of some of the pink. Okay, now I'm just gonna I love the purple lipstick. <laughs> I love it too. I'm such a dork. <laughs> I think it's hot. I get all excited even when I just wear it. It's just, I'm such a dork. Okay, now. I'm going to take a little bit of powder. Like that. And just hide my lips. to help keep it from bleeding. I'm gonna take a little bit of that lilac powder that I used underneath here, the pigment, and I'm just gonna put that right at the top and a little bit on my lip. Just to give it a little shimmer and that's how I do my lips and make them look a little bit fuller all right well that's it for today if you like this look please like and subscribe have a good day bye